so today is a very big day for me. Today is the first solo backpacking trip that I've ever done. I didn't even do it when I was younger. So, um, yeah, I'm excited, but I'm a little nervous too. And I'm just, I'm, I guess I'm more worried about being kind of bored, just kind of sitting in a campground. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go to a lake that I can, uh, that tomorrow I can hike up to another lake and check, the, check it out. So do kind of a day hike and then go back to my base camp for the second night and then hike out Saturday morning. So yes, it is Thursday. It's the very first day of August. So a big landmark for me. So um, yeah, I'll take you along. So I got my hammock up and I have my mosquito net and then I'm going to put a tarp over it. But I don't know if I want to put the tarp over it right now or not because I kind of want to lay in my hammock and read and kind of uh, look at the views. But I might go swimming first. I don't know. I am up at Pyramid Lake again. If you can't tell, it's absolutely gorgeous here. I just decided since... Um, when I got up here, it was already 73 degrees, and my plan was to hike to a different lake. Um, but it's, but well, from here, um, it's probably close to four miles away. Uh, so anyway, um, I thought, you know what, I could do that maybe tomorrow. Get up early, pack up my stuff, and then head up the trail and go to Trout Lake to see what that's like and spend the night up there. I'm the, like I said, I'm the only one here. This is really odd. Um, there was another gentleman that I met at the trailhead. Um, I don't know. It's kind of weird. He came and walked through the, my campsite and kind of was looking around and stuff. So hopefully he's going up to Ball Lakes and then he's going to go back because he said he was only day hiking. So anyway, that's the only thing that's kind of weird. But, um, you know, it's just me, just me and the Lord today and, uh, and tonight. So I'll keep you um, informed. First time uh, putting this all up. I guess it's not too shabby. It'll probably keep me dry if it rains. Just decided to put it on because it's taken me a long time to put things on and kind of figure them out. And once I do them a couple of times, I'll get it. Uh, some other people are across the lake from me now, which is kind of nice. Gives you kind of a sense of security, although I'm at the other far end and so not really close, which is it's just okay. That's kind of what I wanted. So um, got my bear bag, my ursac. It's hung up quite a ways away from me. I noticed there's a, a paracord that's hanging that somebody probably hung their food on. Kind of close to camp though. So mine's quite a ways from camp. So I'm feeling good about that. I'll probably eat pretty soon because usually we eat mid-afternoon. So probably do that and then clean all that up and get it done and um, just kind of hang out. It is so nice right now. And I keep looking um, over at the rocks because it looks like prime um, mountain goat type terrain, but I haven't seen any. Keep looking. I'll show you. Right over there. Up we go. There we go. Looks like my company left. Darn. I was kind of hoping they'd stay, but maybe they're, they'd, it looked like they had backpacks on, so maybe they're going to go up to Ball Lakes. Oh well, that's okay. This one is really good. I really like it, and it hits the spot. And since I brought one, and I'm going to be out two nights, I halved it so I can have it again tomorrow night. It's pretty good. There's a family that showed up. Looks like a mom and a couple kids. And they walked over here. They didn't say anything, but I think they wanted this spot. 
So I think after dinner, I'm going to go over and let them know that I'm going to be leaving this spot in the morning. So if they're going to stick around, they can have it. There's pollywogs in the water. Let's see if I can get one to move. I'm all snug in my hammock right now. My sleeping bag even has a little hood to keep my head warm. Um, it was really windy here just a little while ago. And so I got in my sleeping bag because this mosquito netting doesn't really protect you from the cold at all. Um, so anyway, um, my hair's all static -y. Um Yeah, the sun is slowly going behind the mountain. It's already set straight across for me, but uh, just uh, on this other hill, this it's still shining on there. So the other campground across the lake might have been better because the sun would have been on me a little bit longer, but that's okay. So um, still planning to get up in the morning and head to the other lake and just check it out. Um, nothing else exciting happens. This will be it for day number one. Good morning. I have, <laughs> I'm getting eaten by, by mosquitoes right now. Uh, not the best night. I'm a side sleeper and sleeping in the hammock was difficult. Um, so not sure if I'm going to bring the hammock again. Might go back to the heavy tent that I have. Um, haven't gone ultralight yet. Might have to do that. But uh, it's a beautiful morning. There are a million mosquitoes out right now. I'm just, I've decided since it's already 70 degrees and it's 6 o'clock that I'm just going to go home. Um, I was going to hike up to the other lake, but the mosquitoes are really bad right now and I just don't want to hike through them either. So I'll plan on uh, exploring Trout Lake possibly this fall. We'll see. Now it's just time to go home, grab a cup of coffee, and I'm on my way. <laughs>